in the past month I've contacted 65 plus places. I've only ever received responses from a few. And most of the responses weren't actually options. $1,400 a month and I thought it was like a shared <laughs> bill until I contacted to confirm that price with the, uh, with the seller and he's like, yeah, it's $1,400 a single person. A price this UBC grad student who just arrived from India working and saving to cover her tuition can't afford. Just been very anxiety inducing and stressful. She, like many students, even placed a dating-like post with her picture, basic details and qualities on Facebook housing groups, hoping a landlord off campus would be a match. UBC has a 5,000 person wait list for on-campus housing and the shortage is not just in extreme housing markets like Vancouver and Toronto. We were kind of like eager to uh, find a uh, plan B. The University of Moncton had to put a call out trying to help 120 students with nowhere to go. We had already 37 um, rooms that were available after that launch that we did. Uh, so the community has responded at the University of PEI a more extreme message if they haven't found a place to live we are saying um, please don't come please defer come in the winter come next fall experts say with students taking online classes from home during the pandemic many landlords were forced to look for other kinds of tenants while other properties were sold to take advantage of high real estate prices so we've got uh, an increased number of students coming in with a decreased amount of traditional student housing available and the two of them you know put together to cause this crisis that's happening now. This website connects students and landlords. Some schools are offering to cover the fee landlords pay to post, while new housing developments are in the works at others. UBC says it already has more housing than any other school. Chavi Mahera finally found an affordable place with roommates she has met. It's definitely one less thing on my plate. But for many others, with days to go, it's still a worry. Susanna De Silva, CBC News, Vancouver.